Hi, this is Shruti from Informatica Technical Support. This presentation is about setting up a dynamic connection in SQL transformation with web service provider. So the agenda of this presentation is like when we use a dynamic connection, how to create a web service mapping with dynamic connection and how to configure a workflow. So if the user scenario is like he have to change the database connection during the runtime of the session, he can use SQL transformation with dynamic connection for that. For an example, the user input is DB1, then the table should be picked from DB1 database or if the user input is DB2 and that uh, table should be picked from DB2 database. For these purposes, we can use logical dynamic connection. Here is a table structure I am using for this presentation. Table name is test1, consists of two columns, ID and table name. So it should present in two databases, let's say Spiker and Bluebird. So if the table is fetched from Spiker database, the table name will be Spiker table. If it is from Bluebird, table name will be Bluebird data table. So here, I'll create a web service provider transformation in Informatica 951 environment for the demo. From designer tool, we can create a web service provider source and target. For that, click on source analyzer, sources, web service provider, create web service definition, provide name and input and output ports for this. two input ports and two output ports. Okay. Now we can create a new mapping. Okay. Add the source create a SQL transformation. This SQL transformation consists of dynamic connection. So it should be like dynamic connection enabled and check the DB type. Okay. Now project the source and uh, SQL transformation. SQL transformation using SQL ports we can give SQL query In input ports, we have to provide the native data type. And in uh, my table, it is worker. And an output table for fetching the output from the database table. can add the target and project see the mapping and we'll create a workflow for this create a new workflow let's say workflow test enable web service provide the configurations
create a new task for this now edit the session edit the session mapping properties in that for transmission we have to provide the type as relational and a default value for the connection now we can run the workflow through admin console from admin console go to web service hub under valid web services we could see the workflow created and we can use the tight utility for checking the workflow so now the table has been picked from spiker database that is why the table name is spiker table if it is from bluebird it will be bluebird table let's give bluebird now we got the output as bluebird table so this is how you can create a web service provider with SQL transformation and you can provide dynamic connection for that thank you for watching this video we would like to hear from you you can provide your feedbacks in support videos at informatica.com thank you